Okay, Reggie, before we get into um, this week's questions, um, is there anything you want to speak on or talk about before we get into it? Oh, man. Yeah. It's going to be a great week. Great week of episodes, y'all. But a um, couple of things right quick. Y'all see I'm wearing my boy Big Flossy's uh, t-shirt made, made for players. Y'all make sure y'all go to his YouTube channel or his website, his social media, and help support Big Flossy from the LBC. Appreciate if y'all do that. Matter of fact, I got another person, John. This is one of your old friends. Uh, he sent me some stuff in the mail that he wanted us to help promote right quick. And uh, if y'all want to buy some stickers and stuff like this, some Death Row stuff, Death Row coloring books, John will post up the uh, how y'all can get it. It's a, a some nice page, color books for on Tupac and stuff like that for y'all. Y'all like the color. Or well, y'all kids like the color. I don't know what the, the purpose of it is for for 40 year old men, other than to buy them for y'all kids or something. But I know a lot of y'all like stuff like this. So my boy uh Risky. Y'all seen him over on the Art the Dialogue channel. Y'all may have saw him over here with John on Bob First before in the early two mid 2000s Go over and support him. Hopefully John will put up the link. We y'all can order that stuff. Uh, other than that, John, I think we all uh, about ready to uh, go. Start off the week. So once again, uh, I forgot, forgot, and I like to add to the lastly but least. Make sure you guys uh, tune in over at Vlad this week. Vlad TV. James and I got a new uh, segment going on over there. Uh, we're still going to do some still bombings when we really need to get radical and respond to some stuff. But we have some stuff over there, Vlad, as well. Uh, Reggie and James Mob Ruin. Or Mob, Mob James Ruin or some shit. I forgot the name of it, but y'all be saying the name of it. Uh, some upcoming um, episodes over there on Vlad TV. Come over there and support us as well. Uh, okay. Um, so Tyron Turner did an interview and... Um he was kind of asked about a segment that you did, I want to say it was over a year ago, in regards to a situation with him and Michelle, and then um, apparently, you know, a fight that happened. But anyhow, he was asked about this, and um, number one, he denied it, and then number two, he acted like he wasn't sure who you were, and then he went on to say something kind of negative about your wife. Uh, did you see this, and do you have any comments about Anything that he addressed in his interview? Tyron Turner. Turner. The modern day Muhammad Ali, Mike Tyson. Uh, you ever notice how in every one of his stories that he has the interviewer to, uh, to ask him about? He always beating up somebody, but then he's trying to act like they all good now. Yeah. I want to clear up a few things. <laughs> I'll clear up a few things right quick, and I'm not going to belittle all of it too much, but matter of fact, I'll call Yuck Maw just to prove, because Reggie bring receipts when he talk about stuff, to prove that this clown ass nigga know who Reggie Wright is, because when it was a story being told about him getting whooped on that rap a lot, how he got all in his feelings, like he did with me. With my boy Yuck Mouth. Called Yuck Mouth, got him and Yuck Mouth on the phone, and got it worked out. How niggas always do with Reggie. Reggie get in the middle and work out shit with my But he don't know me. Okay. But he didn't call me. He don't even know my name. Okay. Well, let's call Yuck Mouth and see what he said. John, call Yuck Mouth right quick for me. But it was an incident about a year ago, I think. Where you admit to something, and then he uh, got upset, and he reached out to me because he knew I had a relationship with you. As I explained, yeah. do you remember that? Yeah, I called me. Go yeah, ahead. I called me. It was a um, situation um, over um, that happened at Rap a Lot when we was in Houston. So I told uh, somebody else side of the story. He wanted to, you know, tell his side of the story. So that's basically what it was. But he was kind of angry. 
because the, the side of the story I told, you know what I mean, didn't favor him. You know, and we'll get so. and we'll get into that one later. But I just wanted to verify. But did you? Was it me that called, or was it him that called, or how did the call come to you? Because it was taping during you was actually taping. No, I was I was actually taping. I was on the podcast live, but uh, you called me. Then you threw him on the phone. He said Tyron wanted to talk to me, so he got on the phone and then you know. Yeah, worked it out. We talked about what he wanted to talk about, right? We worked it out, but it was a misunderstanding, you know. But you you made that call. I didn't even call my number. You called my number with him on the phone on the three way. Yeah, all I'm so. just trying to verify the people that the brother trying to say like he don't even know who I am, but that's just how Tyron is, I guess. I don't really know him like that. So y'all hear what Yuck Mouth said? That's just one receipt. Just to show you that the line that he don't know me. Let me tell y'all why Tyron got so upset. Well, the main reason is because he remembered when I called him Jamie Foxx boy toy. Y'all don't know that. People in L.A. and all that know that. Any real person that knows him know that he's been living off of Jamie Foxx. Live with Jamie Foxx for the longest. I ain't saying Jamie Foxx used KY Jelly on him. I don't know. But that's what the rumors is about him and Tyron Turner. But that's his business. Like Jamie Foxx. So I ain't going to shit on them too much for doing what they're doing in their privacy of Jamie Foxx's home. But Tyron, Tyron, unfortunately upset because he liked to talk all this tough guy stuff for whatever reason. But that's generally guys that are homosexuals. They over have to compensate for themselves and have to be tough. Like I said earlier, that's why every interview he's doing, he's beating up people, beating up everybody, or got into a fight with somebody. Tyron, unfortunately, is going to go and throw a jab and say something about my wife. Well, I don't know. I can't sit up here and deny everything that my wife has done or hasn't done in the past. She has denied it. Just like the KVD thing. But y'all always want to throw taps and ridge about your wife, your wife, your wife this, your wife that. My wife was fine back in 92, 93, 94, all her life. But niggas are always talking about shit that happened in 94, 93. I, man, I am a type of nigga. If y'all don't learn anything from me, please learn this. You can't worry about If you didn't get a female out of junior high school and high school, <clears throat> I don't care if she's 50 years old. You don't worry about a woman did what they before they got with you. The only way you're going to worry about what they did is once they with you. I didn't meet my woman until May of 1995. So now he's trying to say that one of his homeboys, and he's talking about the brokers. And that's, now his new claim of fame Y'all going to be seeing coming up in the next couple of days that on Art Show, if he haven't posted it yet, that he got on the phone talking about my wife makes some type of noise when, he, when, she have, when they had sex or something like that in the 90s. She has denied that. She said that she knew him. Went out with him, I think, a couple of times. But this was 93. Now, if this is his biggest claim of fame is that he slept with Reggie Wright, the wife now in 2024 is all he got to talk about. I think he was the Muslim guy in the show, something sweet. I can't even think of his name. Uh, Vante Sweet. Is that his biggest claim of fame? Then okay, dog. Have your... 20 minutes of fame. <laughs> you broke my love, obviously, because you ain't making no money. Because you ain't been in nothing but one or two movies since, boys, the, the little part that you had in Minister Society. So you two homosexuals better stay in your lane. Because I don't take taps lying down easily. I don't play with 
It's on the internet. I don't fight. I ain't never had a fight in my life. Other than when I was a cop. But you niggas will learn. Play with somebody else, tyrant little boy. You little fucking closet homosexual. Because that's what you are. That's why you always have any tough guy attitudes, fights, allegedly, all these stories about fights that you talk about on YouTube. You can tell your body language when they asked, when Art asked you about Jamie Foxx, how you started stuttering like you did when you was acting. When they boy said, you done fucked up now. You done fucked up now. You remember that, how you started stuttering? You did that on art show again. You look zesty as hell with your legs crossed and all of that. But I know some of your fanboys gonna be like, oh, he's this, he's that. Okay. Okay. Ain't now had a little role, probably made ten thousand dollars off back in the nineties. Better keep doing his little interviews and hope Art keep f***ing with him. Because Art them got all of these lies verified. I, I bring receipts. I get this on the phone. And be like, here. Here's what the truth. This is what happened. This is what was said. So. Now your credibility is f***ed up. But keep telling your stories. But as I always tell y'all on YouTube, ain't shit that I ain't never told y'all. Might take a little a while. May take a minute. But it eventually comes the truth. Y'all gonna hear about Tyron and Jamie now. Cause I'm worried he bring people to talk about that. Cause the n that opened up a can of worms with Reggie Wright. The main reason that the Tyron is, is mad is because as he admitted to me, and this is factual, that we found out that him and Michelet was having a, a relationship, and he got whooped on. And like I always say, he hate being associated or being saying that he got whooped on. But that's what happened to him. He keep trying to confuse you guys and talk about an incident that happened with Jay Prince where it doesn't even change. Where he said Jay Prince took him up there because behind some female. Now he done got educated, thought about it more, and talking about Jay Prince, not Jay Prince, that him and Shug met up in 2003 or something like that at a, behind somebody talking about him at a barber shop. He can't even get his lies straight. Can't even remember his lies he just told a year ago. He's now saying it's behind him talking about him about Tupac and getting killed versus originally it was about a female. When Jay Prince brought him up to death row offices. But the main reason is he hated it. I exposed that he got beat up by Shug and some of his homeboys. Which, you know, that's a jump. That ain't no fair. It wasn't no straight up fair. He just got treated like a little bit like he is but mainly and more importantly is the main and more importantly thing is the guy that he talked about Ray Phillips <laughs> that he met you he met Mr. Lee at a party with Ray Phillips y'all look up Ray Phillips Ray Phillips is the biggest queer biggest homosexual in Hollywood he was the first Jason Lee of of L.A., Hollywood in the 90s, before Jason Lee was even anybody. All of those homosexuals talking recklessly in everybody's business. So that's why I know now, and y'all look up how, the Jason, how Ray Phillips died. I'm convinced now that that nigga like taking it, and I'm not convinced anymore that he had a relationship with Mr. Lay. I believe he was hanging out with people that hang around Ray Phillips. Anybody know Ray Phillips? 
Know what I'm talking about.